So the value co-creations box is the heart of your business. It gives you a chance to think about the value that you're going to co-create with your stakeholders in order that the actors can better meet their needs in some way, shape or form. This is the core reason why the actors are going to choose to become your stakeholders. So value co-creations is all about thinking about the world from the perspective of the actors and their needs and the specific role that those actors are playing as your stakeholders. What is it fundamentally that you're going to give them? What experience are you going to give them that will drive value? This means that the value co-creations are the beginning point for developing your marketing message to be able to explain in a way that the stakeholders will understand and be attractive to the stakeholders why they want to be engaged in your business. This is a really critical box on the canvas and one that you need to get right. It is certainly not something that you put a post-it on and say, right, I've got my value co-creation done. It's really a process of iterating over time as you learn more about your stakeholders and you learn more about their needs. Value co-creations are also not transactional and we often find that the first sticky that an entrepreneur will put onto that box is a fairly transactional sticky. So if you take Harley Davidson as an example, you may say the value that Harley Davidson is creating for their customer is a really amazing, well-designed motorcycle. Well, in actual fact, the value that Harley Davidson creates for their customers is freedom. So value co-creations are often not tangible, they're implicit, they're the feeling that someone has when they experience your product or your organization. And it takes some time to really get that right. There's huge risk to an organize, to a startup that misses the value co-creation to their stakeholder. Get that right and you really are on the right track. Thank you.